Do you want to convert multimedia files on Google Drive? Then watch this video until the end. Hello guys, it's Sudo Ken. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to convert multimedia files on Google Drive. To do so, I'm gonna use FFmpeg on Google Colab. FFmpeg is a high-speed audio and video converter that can also grab from a live audio or video source. If you want to get more info, visit the official site ffmpeg.org. Okay guys, let's head to the tutorial. Open your browser and type this URL, then press enter. You can find it in the video description. Here is a Colab notebook, you guys can use it to convert audio and video files on Google Drive. Open a new tab and go to Google Drive. I'm gonna use this video to show you how the notebook works. Ok, click on connect and wait a little bit until it connects. First we should install FFmpeg. Click on run anyway. Right, now we have to mount Google Drive. Click on this link and allow access for Google Drive file stream app. Next copy this code, paste it down here and press enter. Ok guys, let's see how it works. Here I'm going to copy the part of the video which I selected previously. To get the media file metadata, paste the part here and run the cell. This would be really helpful if you want to check metadata of movies, episodes of TV series and audio files. You can just ignore this line. Let's see how long it takes to convert this mp4 file to mkv. After providing the path, run the block. Yeah, it just took me 10 seconds to do so. When it works with large files, it may take some time to show up on your drive. So don't rerun the cell if it doesn't show up fast. You can refresh the drive page to see if it shows up. Yeah, we got it. Ok, let's check if the file is converted successfully or not. Oh, Google Drive takes some time to show us a preview of the newly created files. Sometimes it may take up to several hours, but we can expect some frames from the video using our notebook to check the condition of the video without downloading it to the local machine. With this notebook, we can do many operations. Here I'm going to express some frames from the converted video to check if the video is converted successfully or not. Here I give the path of the video or I, I gave the wrong one. The path of the video we just converted. Also we should give the start and end time, then the script will extract all the frames between the given time range. Right, now we can check those frames.
Yeah, since it extracted those frames fine, we can determine that file is converted successfully. You can try all of these options, there are many features you guys should try out. With this cell, we can create shareable links directly to randomly created frames from the video. Let's try it out. Yeah, it works fine. But this one took a little bit longer for the video I tried with. But I think all these features would be really helpful for you. And I hope you guys will enjoy this notebook. Also don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends to watch more tutorials like this to subscribe to the channel.